I'll be showing you how to uh, start audio repeater. This little program here, it's very wonderful. And how to start it with Windows. So you don't need to play about with it. You can just go straight into whatever you do. So how do you do that? Well, to do that, you need to uh, make a yeah a bat file is uh, called. So what you need to do is find Notepad or any Notepad -y thing. I normally use Notepad plus plus. It does the same job, but for this tutorial, we'll use the default Notepad because that's what most people have. So. How do you get this in here? Well, for one, you haven't got all these little slider uh, drop down boxes, so you need to type it out all manually. So, uh, you want to tell it to start. So, uh, I'll capitalize that. And you want it to tell it to minimize, so min, and then you tell it, well, its name, which is audio p and you put things in there and then you need to tell it where this program is so the simple way to do that is right click your icon down here right click audio repeater properties target and you copy the target okay and space and enter and done so that's default thing, that'll just open that up, it won't actually do anything, so you need to tell it what to put in these boxes here, so, and then you need to tell it to start, so, what you do is, on that, and input, and you double dots, and then you want to tell it what is in the way of it, so, normally I use line in visual cable, your audio cable. So we'll enter that. So line one oops, and brackets virtual audio cable. And close that and do the thing. And then you want to do the same with output. So slash put and double that again. Space. And you want to put your little double, double line there, and output is what you normally use. Well, I normally use my headset, the tactical 3D Rage wireless headset. So you put that in. So we've got headset in brackets again yeah, because it's got brackets. Oh, my ones. S T uh, S B. complete the whole thing you only put what's in here so if it ends at wire L you just put wire L you don't put wire less so because that just sort of confuse it so there's no point you just put exactly what it says there wait so you've done them two boxes there now you need to tell it the sampling rate because of open broadcaster what we used to record and you find it here we go yeah it says the far is 44.1k stereo well stereo is already filled in by default if you just open it up look it's always stereo where for me the sample rate is always 4800 or, or 28k whatever so we don't want it that high because this isn't that high so yes let's go change it so for him get rid of him so what do you, at the end of this you go to space and you got some a link you come to art rate double dots and then to put in uh, one, oh, 
24.11 there we go and that's done and then you want to tell it the buffer size but I like to use 50 so this is where it gets down to your customization so slash buffer ms double dots I use 50 and buffers double dot and I use 8 there so then that will be set to 50 and this will be set down to 8 channel you can't change, priority no, no more time for me and then what do you do then? you tell it you want to uh, auto start and you're done and then you'll go file save as all files set where you want to save it preferably to your desktop because you going to move it soon so we'll call this unknown audio re re tar. there we go oh shit right okay don't do that that's a bad idea so all files so you got your audio repeater and then you go dot bat and then save we don't want that one. And you get given with one of these funky icons here with the uh, cogwheels. So, what we do is we'll close that. And you can see I don't have any running whatsoever at the minute. Close that one. So, if we click that, oh, we got one now. Restore. And, in, and you can see it's already running from the line in. Which if you would wrap that. So, from line in, so that's the line in there the headset, 3D, uh, tactical 3D rage wireless headset and that's there sampling rate is there MS buffer is 50 there buffer is 8 there and it's been auto started but that a, takes a click to do and do you really want to be clicking a button? I instead need to set it up over time but how's about if I know we, we close that and we drag this we go over to start menu all programs and you want to find go down startup open put it in there now with it being in there it will automatically open up when you start Windows. So now you don't even need to bother with it. It automatically opens up as default for Windows. Now how much better can that get? Sorry, what the hell? Don't need to faff around with it. Anyhow, that's been a quick video for me. I hope you enjoy, I hope you make it easier I'll also be posting the code on the website forums for you just in case I don't know whatever anyhow has fun bye bye all the above